Hey guys, so yesterday was fountain pen day and I went to the pen store and they had a sales table uh, Things where everything was on that table was 50% off So I had to go in and check out what they had just just to see so I bought another bottle of private reserve ink in the color sepia um, I'm pretty happy with this. I have Cadillac green at the, uh, in this brand. I didn't know what I wanted. I mean, I just want to test out different inks and see which ones I like more and just get a feel. I just, I can't get enough of this. So they had these boxes of these Monteverde Monza fountain pens. Um, I think they have kind of low reviews as a fountain pen but I think if you're looking for a beginner fountain pen this is pretty good it is a cheaper pen they were $20 but they were half off on this table and they had different colors I decided to go for the clear one because I want more clear pens so I can see my ink they come in these little boxes like this and they had them in I think three other colors black a honey or amber color and a blue and then this white one uh, or this clear one so they come in and you see already so it ha it comes with the converter and it comes with two cartridges and then here's the pen so I obviously have already inked it up and I put the converter in my sepia so here's the pen it's clear body it is lightweight and it does feel I mean it's a plastic pen but not too bad it does feel a little cheaper but that's because it is it posts pretty well so even the feed is clear and you can see your ink running through it, which I thought was a nice touch. Here is the converter and it's not like the best converter, but I mean, come on, it's, it's a $20 pen and you get it included. So it's a good tester pen. And then it's also plastic so you can make this into an ink dropper pen as well. So if that's what you like. I got it in the medium nib. They had fine, I don't know what other if they had any other ones besides fine and medium. Um, the nib is, you know, it's okay. It's not like, it's extremely fancy. I just, I really like that the feed is clear. I don't know, it just makes me really, I just think it's really cool looking. So yeah, but it does take a while for it to start up. The ink flow was a little slow for me. So here's some of my ink testing that I was doing. the size comparison of the Eco, my other clear bodied pen. So the Eco is a little bit bigger. You can see just slightly. The Eco has a better ink flow I would say. But if you're just getting into fountain pens, then I would definitely say this is a decent buy for, for getting into it and learning how to ink up your pen. Um, because it takes cartridges and it has a converter. And it's all included so it's easy to begin. Uh, right away. So if you don't have a bottle of ink, it comes with two cartridges and then you know it just kind of gets you into the groove of the fountain pens. So I think it's a great starter pen and I'm glad I bought it. It's just, it's nice. I like to have other brands and compare and contrast and see which one's good, which one works for me and stuff like that. So not the best pen but it's definitely not the worst as far as pens go but I mean I'm still getting into these and I don't really know everything I'm by no means an expert so uh, an actual <laughs> expert here would probably be like what are you talking about Kim this pen sucks <laughs> but I like it I just like that you can see the ink inside it but anyway guys that's all I have for now and I will see you next time bye